The only thing I can tell you is that Sarah had indeed changed. In your opinion, why would your mother remain in hiding over several weeks? You must leave me alone now. I have agreed to everything, even to... But you do realize your mother will have to accept the consequences of her acts. I hope that your search will prove successful and bring Sarah back to us soon. I'll be leaving now because whatever it is you're up to, I do not want to know. Since then, we have become one and the same. We have officially erased the identity of my sister Emma. Emily Hillsborough. The woman with two faces. Everyone seems to be a little unnecessarily heated. Don't forget where you are, please. Don't move. Wait, I don't... So you've come at last. Easy. Let me turn around. Oh my god, Mother, what has happened to you? Who are you? What? But, Mother! Who are you? It's me, Louis, your son. No, you lie. You won't catch me out like that. Louis... Louis isn't here. He obeys his mother. He would never have come here. Mother, I don't know what you've been through, but lower your arm, please. You think I was born yesterday, do you? But it won't work. I'm begging you. One day you will fall. Mother! Why are you here? I'm here to help you. You have nothing to fear. If only it were so simple. You are evil incarnate. Every word that comes out of your mouth is sharper than a razor blade. I don't wish you any harm. Really, Mother. It's me, Louis. Don't speak to me about him. You will never get him. Mother, stop torturing yourself. It really is me, Louis. How can I convince you? If you really are who you say you are. What was the saying I taught you? You've been telling it to me since I was three years old, Mother. How could I ever forget it? Always keep your mind logical... ...and open. You knew it. You are smart. You're getting me muddled up. Tell me, rather! Whose place were we at when I told you I was coming here? Mother, I really am your son. You can't trick me. We were in Paris. We were investigating an art dealer. His name? I just told you, you can't trick me. His name was Von Borschert. My god, everything is lost then. I refuse to believe it's really you, Louis. Otherwise, all this would be for nothing. Mother, I, I don't know what happened to you, but don't worry. Everything is going to be fine. I'm here for you and- No! I ORDERED you not to come with me! I received a letter and Lord Mortimer informed me of your disappearance, so I took the- No! 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 It's not true! It's a nightmare! Don't tell me that! Have you spoken to him? Oh shit. She's completely panicked because I spoke to Mortimer. It seems she's afraid of what he might have said to me about her. Did he speak to you? Don't believe it. I, I thought I'd meet him the moment I arrived, given the situation. But not at all. He didn't even bother to meet me in person. I imagine that Elizabeth was still here. Very well. Logical and open, Louis. 
Since you arrived on the island, has anything strange happened to you? Depends on what you mean by strange. Personally, I think that you being missing for three days, and then me finding you underground, minus a hand, well, that qualifies as strange, don't you think? No, my hand is not important for the moment. If that's the only thing you found that shocks you, then all is well. Now shut up and listen to me. We might still have a chance. Something of utmost importance is going to play out right here. What are you talking about? A conference, Louis. I should think all Mortimer's guests have arrived by now, haven't they? Yes, they have. Since this morning. Perfect. The conference will be able to begin. Indeed. It shouldn't be long and- Let me finish. We haven't time. You will attend this conference, and you must find out what Mortimer is up to. Don't trust him, Louis. Understood? Right. I'll do what you ask of me. But calm down, please, Mother. Louis, I made a mistake by coming here. We are in the lion's den. What do you mean? Mortimer, home, their guests. Watch what happens. Do you think it's normal that the representatives of the most powerful nations are here all on their own without anyone else? On an island in the middle of nowhere in total secrecy? No, not really, but... Louis! They shape the world. They manipulate us. Everything is decided here and now. They create and break states, provoke wars, destitute governments, or decide who will be their leaders. Open your eyes! Mother, calm yourself, please. Nothing is impossible for them. They are capable of reaching everyone, wherever they may be. Through high society banquets, they model the future of us all. And it isn't at all an issue for them. And? What do you propose? It's time to act, my son. You will go to this conference and, from the inside, you'll do everything you can to prevent Mortimer's plan from going ahead smoothly. We can talk later. I'll explain everything. But why? Do as I say, Louis. It's of the utmost importance. Beware of Mortimer. He won't let anything stand in his way. You promised me that after- Yes, after. Go now. Yes, Mother, I'm going, I'm going. One more thing, Mother. Emily Hillsborough, Emma's sister, came to this island looking for her sister. She probably won't hesitate to take revenge and- It's the signal that the conference is starting, Louis. Don't be concerned about the Duchess. She's the last of our worries. Golden elixir. Monsieur de Richet, you're the only one missing at the conference. Please join the guests.
Monsieur de Richet, you are expected at the conference. Please take the door to your left to join the guests. Chest with a motif representing yes, the alchemical symbol of water. Last, and he could not help answering her, but she said he seemed quite angry at being spoken to. But it is not sound. You know it is not sound. Your conjecture is totally wrong, I assure you. I have suspected it for some time, but now I am convinced. I have already told her so once. I don't know if you ever found what you were looking for in the garden, but Mortimer is waiting for you. I suggest you get a move on. You say it as if you were afraid of him. I sense that you have things you'd like to say, but something's holding you back. What is going on between you two? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I believed in him. I followed him to the best of my ability. I championed his ideas, defended his decisions, and then, without even realizing it, I became lost. The siren song, Monsieur de Richet. You wake up one morning, not knowing where you are, and you think about everything you've done for a man who wasn't even worth it. For a man who has no respect for you, who uses you, and who drops you as soon as he no longer needs you. For me, it's too late now. But you, you still have a choice. Don't respond to his call, sir. But it is not sound. You know it is not sound. Your conjecture is yes. totally wrong. But has it? I have suspected this is the oh. time, but now I... My son, glad you're here. It seems Lord Mortimer's been waiting for you to arrive before beginning. What a pity your mother isn't here for the conference. I hope I'll be able to see her before I leave. I still have a very important letter to give to her. Feeling all right, Louis? You look like you're miles away. Everything's fine. Don't worry. Lord Mortimer wants to talk to you, Louis. Don't make him wait. Indeed, I rather believe he did. I had something. But amber crystals. Ah, Louis, I've been expecting you. Uh, thank you for joining us. We are about to begin our conference. Let me explain what is at stake. Thank you kindly, but what do you expect of me exactly? My mother's the one who's supposed to attend, not me. That is indeed what was initially intended. Unfortunately, she still hasn't been found, and my guests can't stay here indefinitely. The conference must begin, and it would be truly beneficial to the Order to join in the project. Consequently, I would like you to replace her during her absence. What is at stake here is of the utmost importance. It's important that the French Order gets their say. And should you need any advice, don't worry, you are not alone, Louis. Very well. Can you give me a brief explanation of the aim of it all? Of course, Louis, I was coming to that. The aim of these meetings is to bring together the most influential people in order to think together about the future. But the future of who? Of the world, Louis. Our desire is to steer the destiny of our respective countries for the good of all and to no longer suffer the random hazards of history. In concrete terms, 
How do you organize your discussions? A conference is always organized the same way. There are two masters of ceremony who determine an important subject. You and Sir Gregory, I presume? Exactly. We shall be the masters of ceremony. It was our obligation to each bring to the table several guests in order to debate a subject. Once the debate is closed, a decision will be made by a vote of all the participants. By a unanimous vote. If the project is not agreed on by all, then it will be rejected. And neither of the two masters of ceremony have the right to vote. It's up to the guests alone to decide, Louis. In other words, us. Gregory and myself are merely the go-betweens. Finally, if the project is validated, each guest goes home and starts working to make it happen. It can take years. How long have you been active? Oh, this tradition has more or less always existed, Louis. It has continued from generation to generation. Do you often hold this kind of society dinner? In general, once a year, but in actual fact it tends to be events that dictate our gatherings. Can you give me an example of an event that was decided here before being implemented in the outside world? Well, take the French Revolution. It was decided right here two years before its implementation in France. Concerning the case of the French Revolution, I wasn't invited, but as far as the American Revolution is concerned, Louis, I can testify that we planned it five years before implementing it, for example. Louis, let me keep you a moment. I would like to let you in on a secret before we begin, because I'm going to need your assistance. You see, the project I'm going to present concerns the territory of Louisiana in North America. It's currently Spanish territory, and I'm going to make the proposition to the Assembly for it to become French. My idea is to increase the territory of the United States. The first stone of this vast project consists of getting Spain to cede Louisiana to France. Once it becomes French, France will hand it over to the United States, which will then allow them to double the size of their territory. And that's where you come in. France and the United States, hand in hand, two democracies illuminating the world. But why spread it over two phases? Why not announce the overall project immediately? Unfortunately, if Spain were to hear that the intention of all this is to allow the United States to grow, they would never sign. Manuel Godoy is perfectly aware of President Washington's appetite. If the United States took Louisiana, Godoy would know full well that he will have lost the entire North American continent. Things must take place in several stages. Otherwise, the change will be too brutal, and he will have no choice but to reject the project. Take a look at them. Apart from President Washington, they all belong to monarchies. Do you really think they won't resist? Of course they'll fight, fearful as they are of losing their precious privileges. But the world needs visionaries, like you, like your mother. It's a pity Sarah isn't here to see it. She only knew about a tiny part of the project. I hope I can count on you, Louis. It's time to start now. I must ask you to keep it to yourself for the time being. Take a seat, follow the discussions. We'll have an opportunity to catch up later, and you'll be able to let me know your thoughts. Blast it, Mother. You didn't know about everything. This project is commendable. Why tell me to beware? Could you have gotten it wrong? I can tell you that someone 